Hey guys, and welcome back to Outbreak. When we last left off, we'd finally got to a new area, the third stage. Let's continue. I'm going to call it a stage because that makes sense, yo. Right, oh, hello. Tubby zombie right in the corner there. That's fine. I'll give him a belly full of lead. He's had enough. Good riddance. So, just had a comment. Um, that looks like an intricate key. Notice how it didn't say an intricate key. Ornate golden key with a circular and angular design. It has no engravings. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll take that. Uh, any other goodies in here? So, just had a comment from uh, Reaver of, ooh, of Jill Savages about a game called uh, Countdown Vampires for the original PlayStation 1. Never heard of it. Looked it up. Loved it. <laughs> so, we're going to be doing that at some point. Right, autopsy report number three. The nails are irregular compared to the typical to a typical adult human. It's not that they're overly long or different in molecular composition, it's that they protrude deeply back into the palms and wrists. To a normal person, the pain would be incredible with them digging into the bone. But with these creatures, it just makes their hands more durable. They can strike swiftly with great force, and the hands rarely break. It's just... It's such an odd development due to the virus. Yeah. That's quite a cool little image of Lydia there. If she actually had a more interesting character model, then... You know, that might be a cool little shot. Right, we can save there, but we don't really need to. Because we're going raw, bro. Okay, let's continue. So we should have an ornate key. This should open the only door that we have the option to open. Alright. Interesting. Notice how it didn't give us any indication about the type of key to use. It just said oh, ornate key. Right, I thought so. We got a twitcher. Get fucked. Ugh. Still makes me laugh that they sound like regular zombies when you kill them. It just seems really out of place to me. Got the handgun bullets. Just take some shotgun shells as well, just because. Ooh. What was that? Autopsy report four. It's the skull that fascinates me. The skull hardens significantly. As if the... Oh, as the brain itself melts away. It makes them incredibly hard to kill. And des as destroying the brain is the best way to end them. It just... Huh? The brain melts away, so they don't have any brain. How can you destroy the... Okay. Best way to kill them is to shoot them in the brain. But the brain melts away. Okay. Sure. Uh, the skull itself becomes hollow, even though the walls become extremely durable. When you do smash it, there tends to be a powdery spray. The powder carries a large amounts of dense virus molecules. If a living thing breathes it in, their infection chance is in 95%. It also does not reduce over time. Days or weeks later, the virus is alive. Hmm. I hope you haven't been breathing too deeply, Lydia, because, you know, we've been shooting a lot of zombies. And mutant creatures. Oh, we got more zombies. Come on, Zamble. Come on. There we go. Definitely weird that they make absolutely no sound at all. Until they die, of course. Take the bullets. There's still more, I think. Yeah, yeah, we can... Oh, floppy. We'll have a floppy. Right. There we go. We can actually aim at him now. He's still coming. Come on, buddy. How many do you want? Oh, you're a twitcher. No wonder. Yeah, it sounds like all the enemies make the same sound. So, it is difficult to tell what you're actually shooting. Uh, there really is no labeling on the crate. No idea where it came from. No idea where it came from. No idea where it's going. Well, never mind. I guess none of that matters.
Oh god. Oh, hello. You little son of a bitch, sneaking up on a lady like that. Who do you think you are? We've got a twitcher there as well. That's fine. Come on, baby. How many more can you take? Wow. He actually took a few. Greedy little son of a bitch. We've got another book there. <laughs> can we... Can we... Can we... Do that again. Can we just like walk up the lampshade? No, I guess all the moons have to align. And yes, all of the moons, not just one. So we've got some more shotgun shells. Autopsy report five. Wow, there's a few of these, isn't there? The shape of the teeth have shifted somewhat post-infection. Whereas humans tend to have parallel t smoothing horizontally, the virus instead eats away at the tooth and forms a sharpened edge. The teeth also hollow out and fill with a liquid that has a concentrated amount of the virus embedded within it. It's very clear that this is one of the primary routes to which the virus has been developed to allow transmission. I believe everybody who's bitten by one of these creatures would almost certainly be infected, unless they were outright immune. There's much more to study here, especially with all the reanimation qualities. So little time. Mm-hmm. So we've got a door there. More random supplies. Unhelpful. Another locked door. So we need a key. Alright. Well, Lydia seems to be the master of unlocking in this tale. Another poison zombie that... Oh, I guess there's a key right there in front of us. Come on, bitch. There we go. She's had enough. Oh, it's an item room. Nice. Yeah, we don't want that. Probably drop the painkillers for now. Oh, we're out of ammo. Alright, it's load up. So, there's a key. There's some of that. Well, oh. Yeah, we'll take the assault rifle. Fuck yeah. Heart shaped key. Giving us all of the tools of destruction right now. Not bad. Uh, let's drop that back for now. Uh, we don't need that as far as I'm aware. Okay, let's keep going. Pounding this out. Pounding. Pounding. Right. I'm guessing... Look at that weird ge geometry there. It's just a load of shapes. But, you know, it does what it needs to do, which is just about give us an idea of what's going on. Guessing we've got more Zambles in here. Oh, fuck! You know what would be good here? Ooh! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, that was super effective. More painkillers. Looks like the plant room that we were in before. On the first uh, stage, but reused the room. Which again, you know, it's not an issue. You know, this game is what it is. Now, what's further on? Oh. Oh, I was going to say, we're aiming at something. Oh, God, we're empty. <laughs> ah, smoke me a kipper. I'll be back for breakfast. What have we got? Have we got anything here? The whole rest of the passage is filled with debris. Lydia there. Oh, hello. Didn't even see that stuff. Uh, right. Okay, let's keep going. We are out of inventory slots now, which sucks. Were you really sure, Lydia, that you couldn't just put some more stuff in your boots or something? Oof. Oh, yeah. That's the hit of the whole fruit right there. Right, we're lacking the inventory space. Autopsy report. 
seven. I'm starting to lose focus in my thoughts. It's been days, no, months, since I was exposed to the virus. No, it was hours. The creature, one hour ago, it happened. But that's... The reports are numerous. I have a responsibility to this research. It needs to be documented. I have to focus. It just kind of trails off after this point. I see blood on the page. Oof. Oh. Ah, that's the improved handgun. Right. Well, let's keep going for now. See if we can come up to a box room. Because we're really out of space. Oof. Well, that's fine. See if we can just dispatch this zombie. Come on, you. Don't be greedy. Why are you always so fucking greedy, you lot? Three rounds left. Oh, there's another report there. Report 8. I'm going to make sure my notes are shared with the world. I'm taking each of my journals during this process and placing them across the facility. Everybody will know what I've learned here. Some of the doors were locked, so I tried to smash them open. Some of them had people inside, so I smashed them open. It's all going well. I'm going to cure this disease. Everything is going to be fine. Yeah, it's... Assault rifle rounds. Sounds like this guy started having some mental problems. Started having some serious mental problems. Oh, fuck. So we've got one on the floor. All right, he's gone. Oof. Oh, two. Oh, he's gone. Get out of my face, woman. Right, that's that empty. Oof. Oof. That was a bit naughty. Ointment. Floppy disk. Oh, and bullets. We'll take the handgun bullets. Oh, sure. Have the handgun bullets. Ooh, ah. Item room. Item room with a beast in it. Ooh. We're on warning. Interesting. Okay. Right, well, the Twitch is dead. Take the handgun rounds. Now, let's put... Let's put this back. Let's put those back. It's going to eat those. Actually, we could... Load the shotgun up. And... What have we got here? Right, let's go back through. Oh... Sure, I guess. Wonder why there's floppy disks here everywhere. Kind of strange when you think about it, but we're not going to think about it, so you know. Right, let's go start harvesting. Should be able to get a good amount of ammo. Uh. Well, we, there we go. I was going to say I know there's a door here somewhere, game. You can't bullshit me. Right. I think there are... Ooh, rifle rounds. Certainly have the rifle rounds. We shall also have the 9 millis, because sure. There's an axe there. Nah, not really interested in the axe, to be honest. Definitely don't need the axe. Now, uh, there was the, yeah, that's the upgraded handgun. Definitely going to want that puppy. And there's some ointment, is it? No, that's the syrup. Right. Good. Uh, can't escape throughout the, through the window. Why not, Lydia? That really does sound like loser talk to me. Just saying. I reckon we probably could escape out of the way. You weren't being such a pansy. Okay, so... Back here there was nothing. 
The whole rest of the passage is filled with debris. I wonder... Can we? I guess I already know what the answer is. If we pick up... Oops, we've gone too far back. If we pick up the axe... Can we, perchance, smash that debris down? I'm going to go out on a limb and say no, but... <laughs> For the interest of science... We're going to find out. I mean, surely there must that must be what it's for. Uh, because as a weapon, as we saw right at the beginning of the game, as a weapon, this thing is absolutely useless. So if there was like one passage that it could open up on each map that you can get it, that would at least give it some utility. That would give you a reason to pick it up. Am I expecting too much? Maybe. Anything? Filled with debris? Well... Well, it was worth a go, damn it. I really thought I'd discovered something. Oh well. Well, we'll just bank this in the item box and forget about it, I guess. Maybe on an easier difficulty, there might be some use to it. Uh, but surely I'm guessing on a harder difficulty, it'll be worthless. I mean, it's quite an easy game, to be honest with you. But when I looked up the... Uh, wow, I think it tells you on the harder difficulties, it just uh, reduces the amount of healing items and ammo in the game. And I'm just like, ugh. That doesn't really sound that much fun to me. Okay, so let's drop that back. Let's drop that back. Uh, we had the assault rifle, didn't we? We do, yeah. Okay, we've got two magazines for it. Which ain't too shabby. But we'll drop that back for now. Let's go, Daddy-o. I think we've got two doors here that we can search. Oh. Eh, fuck the floppy desk. So we came in that door there. This door is usable. Oh. It's like a, this is a save room. Autopsy report 12, question mark. Ha 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 I feel amazing. The virus has made me stronger, more resilient. I have no understanding of time. I cut into my arm and it repaired immediately. Who cares about the studying? I'm now invincible. I cannot be stopped. A few of my peers found me and tried to restrain me. They were unsuccessful, to say the least. It's finally happening. All of my dreams are coming true. Uh. Well, we've got a key. The ornate key. So, he's gone loco. He's definitely going to end up murdering somebody. Well, I guess he already has murdered somebody. He's murdered quite a few people from the sounds of things. Hmm. So, did the virus affect him in a different way? We've got the grenade launcher. We don't really... Do we want to cart the grenade launcher around? Probably not. We've got the handgun, the improved handgun, and we've got the shotgun, so... That probably will keep us going for at least a little bit. Okay. Okay. Let's head down here. Yep. So you find a key, you use a key, you carry on going. Come up to a locked door, find a key. Ooh! Okay, big boy. 
Big boy that didn't take a lot of shotgun shells to put down. Curious. Guess we'll take the pills. Those guys, they're weird. Sometimes they're really tough, and other times they're fluffy little kittens. So, oh, yeah, we'll have the magnum. Yeah, other times they're just like fluffy little kittens that really aren't up to much. It's really strange, to say the least. Ooh. We're back in the underground. As the music would indicate. Oh, we got a, oh god. So got some crawlers here. Damn it. Come on, buddy. Take your medicine. Warning, that's fine. Interesting. Yeah, I don't like the way we can't really knock those guys back. It's just it does feel a bit strange. Uh no, don't want the Floppy. We have no need for a floppy disk. At least, I don't think we have any need for a floppy disk. I mean, come on now. And it sounds like the cats are up to no good. Which is standard. Oh, hello. Fuck me. See, is it just hanging in there? Oof. Well, he's dead. Well, how goes the murdering? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like barreled over. Ooh. Not like grenade rounds. Interesting. Wonder if we can stop these fans. Ah! Well, that's handy. Let's put you boys back in here. Uh, probably don't need that. Might not need that. It's kind of hard to tell. Kind of. I know I've played this once before, but I can't really remember like how much there actually is to do. Only four. I thought we might get a full complete pack. No matter. It is also odd that sometimes you don't get uh, a save ribbon or, or, or like a save station in the um, in the rooms of an item box I do find that a little bit strange right let's keep pressing forwards what's in the next room ah we got chunky zombies we like chunky zombies oh god chunky zombies and a lady zombie that's fine uh oh yeah I was gonna say probably gonna get hurt here not really. More a oh god, hello, you little shit. You can't even hear them sneaking up on you. That's the dangerous part about them. Back on warning, that's fine. Chew through a lot of bullets as well. But that's fine. I mean we've got ooh. Yeah, easy to handle firearm with typical stopping power for its class, featuring a minor custom modification. Fires uh, 9mm Rouse. See, I don't really know the difference with this gun. Um, it says it has, you know, average stopping power. But, you know, I don't really know if that means it's good or if it's weak. I, I don't know. Game doesn't really give you much information about the weapons. Well, doesn't really give you any information, to be honest, about the weapons. Uh, right. See, I'm guessing that's the high capacity one. That's the more powerful one. Can't store exits. Let's unequip that. Put that back. Use it for an emergency. Yes, we can get all the AR ammo out, of which there is a lot. Okay, so we can actually stack quite a lot of AR ammo, which is actually quite nice. I wasn't sure. Now, take the assault rifle out. Alright, we're actually fairly well loaded now. We've got good health. Excellent. 
Let's continue this murderous rampage. I guess we're gonna come up to Dr. Wacko eventually. Or at least like a generic zombie man that's supposed to be him. I can't actually remember, but it seems pretty obvious. Right, let's see what we got. Ooh! Ooh! Maybe not, but we've got an absolute unit here. That might... supposedly be him? Maybe? Oof. Ooh, more handgun rounds. How do we get those? Yeah, maybe that's meant to be him. I think handgun bullets as well, uh, or any kind of bullets really, seem to come in random packs. Sometimes you get like 12, sometimes you get up to 17. It's a bit all over the place. But that's fine. Oh god. Shit. Okay. Another one of these guys. Maybe that's meant to be him. Not sure. Luckily, this AR does a pretty good job of keeping him at bay. Kind of. Man, he's tough. He's really freaking tough. Oh, you hit me. You little cheeky bastard. How much can you take, sunshine? Jesus. Jesus ain't here, man. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh. Wait, that's it? All of Lydia's bloodshed wasn't getting her anywhere. The mansion was a labyrinth of endless hallways and mutated creatures. As she looked around this basement, it became obvious that it was not a path to escape. I actually did. <laughs> Completely forgot this how this one end. She slowly returned back to the surface level. Do you see what I mean though? Uh, by the fact that you get too many weapons, like you can't use them all. Like, we didn't even take the grenade launcher of the Magnum out. Uh, looking at the windows, she contemplating smashing one and just leaping and hoping she could run away from the creatures. But it was pitch black outside, and there was absolutely no hope of escape. She entered one of the bedrooms in the hallway she had cleared earlier. She laid down on the bed, unsure of what to do next. There was no obvious path forward, and she knew there was far more creatures in the basement laboratories. She barricaded the door and decided to try and get some rest. She drifted off, her concerns leaving her for a few moments. She was at peace. The low murmur of the damned faded from the room. She felt that maybe she could stay here forever. To be continued. Chapter 3 complete. Hey, we've got a C rank. Only 3 healing ye... Uh, that was actually quite a short mission. To be honest. Lydia's thoughts drifted in her sleep. The last 48 hours flashed before her. The bloodshed, the destruction, the city burning to the ground, the hills overrun with the undead. It was all too much to handle. She was alone. She awoke suddenly. It felt like she had only been asleep for 30 seconds at most. She rose from the bed. The state of the room struck her. It was red. Not just the blood everywhere, but everything was shaded in red. She had a pounding headache. She was dizzy. But she felt oddly strong. Hmm, sounds familiar. She ventured into the hallway, scouring the room, smashing open cabinets, looking for anything that may help her recover. One of the bedrooms belonged to a member of the manor security team. She found a grenade launcher and a lot of rounds for it. No medicine. Was she infected? She honestly didn't know. She didn't care either. She decided she was going to head out into the darkness and make a break for it. It was her only chance. But first, she had to find a way out. She started retracing her steps. Yeah, okay. 
Interesting. Everything's red. The mana, barracks, question mark. So, I like the way these grenades are actually bigger than the grenade launcher. Picked up the grenade rounds. Come on, and the rest. And the rest. And the grenade launcher. We doing quite well here. Actually. And we have the Kraus. Well. Which is kind of interesting. Also a save disc. We're not going to use the save disc. We also have an item box. But that's going to have to wait. For the next video guys. So thank you very much for watching. And as always.